What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a look at the 1.0 release of Satisfactory, an open world base building title that was in early access for a very long time, I believe since like 2020 or something like that. But recently, just a few days ago, it launched into its full version and the developers asked if I was interested in taking a look at it and because I check out the occasional survival craft base building type game every once in a while, I agreed especially because I had heard a lot of good things about this in the past. And after playing it for myself in its 1.0 version, I can definitely see why that is. Because where a lot of these games focus on simply upgrading things and gathering more materials as you go, Satisfactory is really about automating a lot of that process while at the same time setting up these gigantic, almost city-like factories aimed at producing all sorts of stuff while you yourself work on building a space elevator. Now story-wise, which was, from what I understand, recently added, you're working for a company called Fixit. This company has sent a bunch of people they refer to as pioneers down to an unexplored planet to, of course, explore it and naturally try to get at its resources, which is why you're building all of this stuff. But along the way, things get a little more complicated, which I naturally won't spoil here. At its base, this game is about base building. So the first thing you'll do is work on building that base up and there is an introduction to the game that will walk you through the basics that I would recommend for most people, just so you can get an idea of how all of this stuff works, including things like attaching conveyor belts to individual pieces of equipment out in the world to set up uh, essentially a factory line, and how powering those things actually works. But before you do any of that, you first have to start the game. Now with this being a large unexplored area, there are naturally a whole bunch of different biomes. You can start the game in up to four of them, each of them with their own resources and the like to kind of help you along your way, while also sort of diversifying what you have to see in said area. Now later on, you'll be able to quickly traverse between these areas via things like trains and vehicles and whatnot from what I understand, and recently added with 1.0, it will apparently even be possible to actually teleport between your factories, albeit at a pretty great cost. Now after you get dropped into the planet, which uh, seemed a little sketchy at best, you get to work on all of this, but something that struck me right away is that while it is definitely about the base building, you also have a whole host of alien flora and fauna to tend to, some of which is very hostile to you. And they've got all sorts of interesting weird ones that you can interact with in fun ways. For instance, these giant giraffe-looking things can actually be jumped on, and they serve as a launch pad which can get you up into higher places before you can actually build launch pads. And some of the flora is edible, but others will actually shoot poison gas at you, which is pretty detrimental. And it's my understanding you can even tame a sort of like lizard dog later on, which is pretty fancy. But once you get done looking at the scenery, you've got a base to build. Now, the thing I want to focus here on mostly is just the automation of it. Because sure, you'll start out by harvesting resources by hand, but before you know it, you'll be building portable miners. These are little mining nodes you can set directly on a resource and it will mine it for you up to a maximum of 100 and you can just come check on it and gather those resources before it gets back to work. Later on still, you get access to a proper whole mining facility. This is important because unlike a portable miner, you can hook up a conveyor belt to these facilities. Those conveyor belts can instantly take it to another facility to turn it into ingots before shipping it off to yet another one to turn it into something more useful like plates rods, etc. that you can then use to build or upgrade other things. And that automation touches basically everything in the game and is relatively simple as an example because later on there's even things like pipes, fluids, complex computer parts, you can even build nuclear plants later on which I thought was really cool. Now, I want to wrap this video up by talking about some of the stuff that is new with uh, 1.0 in particular. For starters, you can apparently customize your character now. This is a new thing, and that's important because the game has things like multiplayer, but it doesn't end with just your character. They've actually also added the ability to, once you get to a certain point in the game's progression, unlock the ability to customize the appearance of things like your buildings and pipelines and everything else, which I thought was a nice little touch. They've also performed a whole host of different balancing changes, including the introduction of the final tier of progression, which includes some of those things I mentioned earlier, like the portals, 
nuclear plants, researching alien technology via a resource called Mercer Spheres that were always available, but now finally have a use, which can do things like unlock a dimensional depot which will allow you to access resources from anywhere, as opposed to just your storage or your personal crafting. And that's not to mention all the bug fixes and quality of life updates that have also happened across the board, so suffice to say, it looks like Satisfactory's 1.0 release was a substantial one on top of the fact that it just seems to be a very fun game if you're into base building or are just looking for an interesting alien world to explore. But to wrap up this particular video, while I do not plan on fully reviewing this one, I honestly just thought it was neat and wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully you found it enjoyable, entertaining, informative, and if you're interested in checking this one out, I think it's like $35 over on Steam, just so you know. But that is pretty much where I'm going to wrap up. Do let me know how you feel about this one down in the comment section below, which of course means to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.